wiggle those fingers, jump up and down a little bit. Vermin says, now wave your arms in the air like you just don't care. Now wave your arms in the air like you do care. All right. Now let's see, yes, we have the arms extended swaying. Now let's try the windshield wipers. Like from the elbow, like that. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Now let's uh, try the jazz hands. Let's give the jazz hands. Jazz hands up and jazz hands down. Okay, now flap your arms like a bird a little bit. <laughs> now fly, fly, everybody can fly! Give yourselves a big round of applause. All righty, we have a few housekeeping notes this evening. Um, and they are as follows. Exits are ways in which you enter and leave a, a building or space. Exits are things that you use to enter or leave a place. Thank you, Liz. Uh, exits, very important to know. And of course, in a related note, scientists and the National Security Agency in tandem, working together, have decided to reclassify the color-coded terrorist alert network. And they are replacing the colors that color coded up with smells. <laughs> now, this comes in, uh, in conjunction with recent uh, scientific studies that seem to suggest that certain biochemical and bioweapon agents uh, actually mimic the smell of human flashlights. <laughs> That's a fact. That's a fact I made up. And so, what we need to be aware of is that if if, uh, it's, if there's no terror alert whatsoever, if everything's super casual and kind, uh, they, they might say it is fresh mown grass. So if you hear that it's fresh mown grass, it's good. Nothing to worry about. Now perhaps you might hear uh, burnt toast. Burnt toast is the next highest alert level, and that means something slightly elevated. You should be slightly aware and, and uh, ex exercise a little bit more paranoia than usual in your everyday life. And. Uh, Above that is garbage, hot garbage. Now, if, 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 if the NSA decides that the, the terrorist alert level is getting really high, uh, he's going to say, oh, yeah, it's hot garbage. And that means that you should really start taking a, a serious look at your neighbors and, and people in, in, in other cars and, and give them the stink eye and, 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 and suspect the worst from them. But, of course, the worst and highest level in this terrorist alert uh, system database uh, is, by smell, is, of course, Fart and smell. <laughs> That's right, friends. And so, this evening, if you smell at any time during this performance, if, if you catch a whiff of what you believe might be human flashlings, I want you to stand up and do your patriotic duty and loudly and clearly proclaim, Hey! Did somebody fart? <laughs> and uh, because this is uh, such an important issue, I'd like you all to stand up and, and, and practice it with me. <laughs> all right. Please stand up. Please stand up, everybody. And uh, uh, on the count of three. Are you one. Ready? Are you ready? Yeah. One, two, three. You hey! Did somebody fart? <laughs> and if you farted, please fess up immediately uh, because it, it could create mass panic. We could be under some sort of biological bioweapon uh, attack. Uh, and of course, that information on exits could come in very handy. Thank you. Thank you. When I say thank you, y'all go wild. Thank you. Thank you. Um, now, I would also like to address a recent internet rumor uh, that I am some sort of internet supervillain and that I am involved in some sort of nefarious island of Dr. Maru type plot using science to turn the American people into actual ponies, sort of like uh, the carnival scene of Pinocchio. This is untrue. Totally not true, and I'm denying that right now, 100%. Now, friends, I do support the voluntary surgical creation of human pony centaurs, <laughs> i.e. the grafting of human torsos onto pony bodies. But friends, please let your ethical concerns be assuaged, because in my administration, only headless lab ponies will be used in this scientific, mythic, reassignment endeavor. 
thank you for this opportunity to clarify this important issue. Thank you. Now, I would like to uh, bring up uh, the Vermonettes, please. Oh, Ladies and gentlemen, the Ver give it up for the Vermonettes, everybody. And uh, the Vermonettes will be uh, backing me up here in a song, and you will be singing along with this song. It's a song that you know, so don't pretend that you don't know it. You will sing along with it. Uh, it's a song that you'll recognize immediately. It's a song that uh, is usually done in rounds. It's like half the room starts up and half the other room does the other half, and, and uh, it usually all falls apart, especially people who jerk it a little bit. But that's not important. The important thing is, is that you all sing along with me, and uh, you'll know it, and it goes a little something like this. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. What does it mean to dream? Life is but a dream. Row, row. Have you ever had a dream that was so vivid that you thought it was real? Raise your hand. Did you ever dream that you could fly? Gently down the stream, merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Have you ever dreamed that you were in a crowd? No. <laughs> Have you ever had the same dream more than once? Yes. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream, merrily, merrily, merrily. Did you ever have a dream that you realized was a dream? Did, did you ever have a dream, the same dream, more than once? Have you ever been in a dream and wake up but to find yourself in another dream? Have you ever tried to wake up from a dream but have been un unable to do so? Yes! Down the stream, merrily, 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 like the sun in the tree. Have you ever been together with someone in real life and realized it's telling each other the next day about the dreams that you had and you had the same dream and you were in each other's dreams? Anybody? No. Okay. Have you ever had someone who was dead visit you in a dream? Yes. yes. Somehow related, in Greek mythology, Karen is the ferryman who ferries departed souls across the river Styx into the underworld. <laughs> row, row, row your boat gently down the sea. Have you ever experienced a moment? Have you ever experienced deja vu, anybody? Deja vu? Yeah. All over the again. The moment where you're awake and you, you remember a waking moment and you say, I, this is, I've done this before, I've been here before. But have you ever experienced that in a dream? Deja vu in a dream? No. Have you ever had the experience that you're having deja vu, but you're not remembering the moment before an awakening life, but you're remembering a moment from a dream? Anybody? I'm confused. Well, well, let me tell you, last night I had that dream, that same dream, that Maybe. dream that I've had so many times before, as a child, as a young adult, as a young man, and now as an old man. Roll, 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 roll. Gently down the stream, the dream where I'm on a stage and all the people are singing a song. <laughs> and we're in a room. Row, 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 gently down the stream. And I ask myself in this dream, what are they singing? And I ask myself in this dream, why are they singing this song? And at this moment, I begin to recognize this song. Row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. And in this moment, I begin to recognize the song. And I think to myself, wow, what a perfect song. And I start to realize that I have been here before. It is a beautiful day, and the breeze is breezy, and there are clouds in the sky. And maybe the first time I understand the meaning of this song. And maybe for the first time I understand the meaning of this dream. <laughs> the dream I have lived in real life. The dream I have seen with my own eyes. The dream that I am dreaming as we now speak. The dream that we are having as we now speak. The dream that I am on stage. We are singing a song about life. 
this is the dream. It was a very important dream. There is a message inside this dream. The dream that we are sharing. It is a dream. We are making eye contact with one another. We're looking around. We're seeing each other in this beautiful venue, this beautiful outside patio. And we feel connected in this dream. And we are being, being sharing a moment in time. I remember this dream. Row, row, row your boat. Do what it takes to keep on moving. But don't overdo it. Don't overthink it. Gently, gently, gently down the stream. Enjoy the journey. Enjoy the getting there. Enjoy the being there. Breathe in the dream. Breathe out the dream. Merrily, merrily, merrily. Life is but a dream. Thank you. Thank you. Give it up for the hermits. Thank you. And give yourself a round of applause. Alrighty. Are you ready for a very special presidential announcement? Uh oh. Alright. Good people, here it comes. As your president, I have promised to engage in hostilities only with those powers that I deem to be a real and immediate danger to our peace loving nation. And that is why I have ordered the strategic interdimensional. Horse Command to begin the bombing of Narnia in five minutes. If we do not fight them in their dimension there, we will have no choice but to fight them in our dimension here. We will not stop until we have destroyed Middle Earth and the last orc is dead. The Orc Hordes are indeed an existential threat to our way of life. Yeah, I said it. They stick. In this time of need, we must unite as a nation. And I hope that you will all pray for our fearsome, flying, unmanned killer robot drones as they rain fire and death upon our subhuman enemy and various innocent wedding parties. Thank you. Thank you! And I have another short reading from uh, uh, my book, I Pony, Blueprint for New America, recently retitled uh, Pony Project 2027. Um, look it up on the internet. It's, it's a much better project for sure. And it is a book about the future, long after a vermin supreme presidency, after everybody has their pony, after zombie power fuels the nation, after the secret dental police have set up checkpoints every couple hundred feet. It is a warning from the people of the future to you, the people of their past, your present, that Vermin Supreme is a madman and must be stopped. Thank you. There were harsh political realities when Vermin for Life, President for Life, Vermin the First, took office. At the time of his ascent to the White House, there were over 300 million Americans in America's previous borders. At the time, there were only 200,000 po 200, ponies in the whole country. It was a recipe for civil unrest. And friends, those were not just political realities. Those were, politi those were reality realities. There was a very stark reality choice to be reality. made. On the table, would it be the mass execution of over 290,000 299 million Americans in order to achieve proper pony human parity? Or would it be something else? His misspoken claim during his inauguration to faithfully execute the American people was sounding visionary. It is certainly true that such a mass execution would create jobs. It would lessen our country's dependence on foreign oil. It would be good for the environment. Although there were some drawbacks to consider, they were mainly just questions of public relations and ethics. During this time of widespread civil unrest, all options were on the table. The Dental High Command was put on high alert. The Dental Re-Education Camps were readied. 
Homeland Dental Security coordinated with the nation's dental police departments. The militarization of America's dental police forces had been a great idea that was about to pay off in lower incidences of gum disease nationwide. There were riots in the streets of numerous cities, including North Point! North Point. Pulsating water pit cannons knocked rioters right off their feet and knocked the plaque right off of their teeth. The population was demanding their ponies, ponies that were nowhere in sight. It was a time of heightened international tensions. No one would have blamed Tyrant Supreme if he had ordered the National Dental Guard to carry out a full-scale mass massacre of the civilian population. It was high time, actually. The veneer of civility that had been protecting Americans from such real political unrest for quite some time was wearing thin. The quaint and oft-repeated notion that it can't happen here was truly just a lack of imagination. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, the transition to a full pony-based economy will not be an easy one. There will be some grumblers, pony haters in the beginning. There will be those that scream, big government! Those malcontents shall be dealt with swiftly and harshly. Many pundits will argue that it will never work. They will be sent to the work camps to be shown otherwise. <laughs> we will use social safety nets to catch and contain the poor people. Because friends, these people are impediments to the new utopia. Examples of the dangers of old thinking. Speed bumps in a world that has no use for speed bumps any longer. <laughs> to create a new world omelet. No more speed bumps. You have got to break some eggs. <laughs> This is a song that you all recognize immediately. It's a classic from the American lexicon. It's a song that you yourself have uh, sung at many of exciting sports events, I'm sure. Um, during the song, feel free to remove your hat right now on things that you prefer um, over the fight over. Take a knee, don't take a knee, stand up, sit down. But here it is, ladies and gentlemen.
I want to sing a little song for y'all, okay? Y'all want to hear me sing a song? Yeah! Okay, here's another song. It's a song that I, this one I wrote. It goes a little something like this. I want to live in a shopping mall. Swimming into a waterfall. You can't tell night from day. Shopping mall, I think I'll stay. <laughs> you have your choice of things to eat. Woo! Life in a shopping mall is sweet. <laughs> shopping mall, shopping mall, how I love your endless halls. Flying with stores and things to buy. Shopping mall, you make me high. <laughs> no sky above or ground below. Christmas time, you get fake snow. <laughs> Ride the escalators up and down. And dig that funky shopping mall music sound. <laughs> Everybody. And I answer these people, that's crazy, that would be ridiculous. Until we can make them very, very small. And I have scientists working on that, by the way. And ultimately, of course, it would be up to the Federal Pony Reserve to make such fiscal policy. However, what does the pony-based economy mean to you? And, and, and I want to explain this to you because there's a lot of naysayers, if you will, uh, people that don't fully understand the pony-based economy. So it is, it's this simple. Once we have universal pony ownership, we will have equity in the ponies we own. And of course, if we have equity in something, we can borrow against it. So when you have your free pony, you'll be able to borrow against it. And uh, once we've established this pony-based debt, then we will be able to bring in the bestest and the brightest from all the Ivy League schools to make up the most insane, opaque, arcane, hard to understand financial instruments available. We are going to make quantitative pony easements, pony credit default swaps, AAA pony jump bonds. Friends, that's right, we are going to create a big giant pony based debt bubble in the economy. And as you know, when you have a bubble in your economy, that means everything is firing on all cylinders, Wall Street making money, Everybody, it's, everybody's happy. And uh, some people will say to me, but Vermin, it's a bubble. Won't it burst? Let me tell these people once and for all that this particular giant pony based debt bubble that I will be creating the pony economy is going to be reinforced, steel belted, and last forever. Thank you. Now, friends, so, sometimes, so, if you can believe it or not, after I've, uh, after I've explained it so eloquently and so simply, uh, some people still don't get it. And they're all like, but Vermin, who's, who's going to pay for these free ponies? Where, where's the money going to come for these free ponies? And these people have such a misunderstanding of fe fundamental ponynomics, uh, it, it just shocks me. And sometimes I just have to lay it out for them. I have to break it out. Where it, These ponies, they're free, number one. Who pays for them? Nobody. Where do they come from? And then I have to explain it to them. When a boy pony likes a girl pony, 
And this girl Tony, especially if the, the girl Tony is in heat or estrus, as, as the vets would uh, say, and the, the boy Tony will like trot across the paddock and you know uh, meet the girl Pony and sniff around a little bit and you know and then things get a little hard and worked up and then, then he mounts him and then the, the Pony penis and gets all hard and enters the, 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 the girl Pony vagina, Pony vagina, and uh, and then there's a little bit of thrusting and, and then there's this ejaculation and a big big Pony splutes of, of jism. And it, it, it meets the uh, pony, the, the pony egg, and the, the girl pony's fallopian tube, and, uh, and, and they're fertilized, and, 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 and it, it, it's, a, it's a beautiful thing. And uh, I'm sure you've seen the videos on the internet, all right? Anyway, uh, anyway, just a few short months later, boom! Free ponies! Thank you. Now, I'm going to need, need uh, for this next part, when I point to you, I, it would be really nice if you all could shout out the word ponies. Ponies! Okay. The switch to a pony-based economy will revolutionize the way America does business. Ponies! Create American jobs. Ponies! We'll revitalize America. Ponies! Our green transportation solution. Ponies! Produce usable methane gas. Ponies! <laughs> We'll lower our dependence on foreign oil. Ponies! Create an abundant source of pony-based fertilizer. Ponies! Are the future of America. Ponies! Are a viable currency for goods and services. Ponies! Have little tiny carbon hoofprints. Ponies! Are a renewable resource. Ponies! Are nice. Ponies! Are recyclable. Ponies! Are cute. Ponies! Are low in cholesterol. Ponies! Are delicious. Ponies! Oh. In summation, free ponies for everyone, no new taxes, and economic prosperity for all. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Big surprise. <laughs> my name is Vermin. Oh I like a pony. And if you don't like it, well, you can blow me. <laughs> I braid her mane. I can't complain. The way that pony makes me feel, she's driving me insane. I love a pony. I like to ride her hard. I ride my pony all around the yard. Yankee Doodle went to town riding on a pony. I love a pony. I, I, I have a pony. My pony likes to buck. Me and my pony, we really like to ride around the town, ride around the town, ride around the town. I wonder where he was going to go. I'm gonna take my pony to the hotel pool. Yeah, I'm gonna see her swim. I'm gonna ride my pony. Everybody wave those arms like that. Uh, I'm gonna ride my pony to my hotel room. Yeah, I'm gonna let her in. My pony's in the sun, son. My pony's having fun, son. Ponies like to run, son. Phaser said I'm stunned, yeah. Everybody gets a pony. Everybody gets a pony. Everybody wants everybody. Everybody wants a pony. Everybody wants a pony. I'm gonna ride my pony to the hotel pool. Yeah, I'm gonna see her swim. I'm gonna ride that pony to my hotel room. Yeah, I'm gonna let her in. <laughs> my pony's in the sun, son. My pony's having fun, son. Ponies like to run, son. Phaser set up, stun, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Give yourself a big round of applause. Give yourself a big round of applause for that. Okay, if you thought that one was bad, let's try this one. Okay, this is a sing along. Okay, are we all ready to sing along? Okay, is everybody ready? Everybody ready? Okay, I'll sing the line and then you sing it back and we'll go back and forth a little bit like that, okay? All right, the one, and I always think of this as a big band tune. This might be a big band tune. I, and, uh, one, one, two, three. 
I've got crabs, babe. I've got crabs. Everybody. I've got crabs, babe. I've got crabs. I've got crabs, babe. I've got crabs. I got them from you know who. I got them from you know who. And now I done give them to you. Okay, from the, from the top, everybody. Okay. Uh, I've got crabs, babe. I've got crabs. I've got crabs, babe. I've got crabs. I got them from you know who. And now I can't get them to you. We have crabs, babe. We have crabs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have crabs, babe. We have crabs. Well, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna go get us some shampoo. <laughs> gonna get rid of them crabs, babe. Get rid of them crabs. Hey, thanks everybody. Give yourself a round of applause. <laughs> And this next song, I'm going to y'all sing uh, the refrain, um, Psycho Kitty. So you're going to say the word Psycho Kitty twice. So it's like, so, and you're going to be doing the hand thing. So remember we practiced the, the jazz hands down like that? Okay. So when I point to y'all, y'all go, Psycho Kitty, Psycho Kitty. Okay, everybody. Psycho Kitty, Psycho Kitty. Okay, that's pretty good. Good. You'll, you'll, you'll get the hang of it. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? Are you ready, people? Okay, here we go. Psycho Kitty, Psycho Kitty was a happy little cat. Psycho Kitty, Psycho Kitty was a happy little cat. Starred in television cat food commercials. How about that? Psycho Kitty, Psycho Kitty. Psycho Kitty was lured into a trap one day by a plate of food. Psycho Kitty, Psycho Kitty. Psycho Kitty was sold to the lab by the guy for 20 bucks. What an evil dude. Psycho Kitty, Psycho Kitty. Psycho Kitty got sold to a vivisecting subcontract in college. Psycho Kitty, Psycho Kitty. Psycho Kitty gave her mind for scientific knowledge. Psycho Kitty, Psycho Kitty. A little too much torture, a little too much pain. Psycho Kitty, Psycho Kitty. And now our poor little Psycho Kitty is irrevocably insane. Psycho Kitty, Psycho Kitty. Psycho Kitty. Psycho Kitty, Psycho Kitty, suffers from post-traumatic stress. Psycho Kitty, Psycho Kitty. At least the surgical procedures were considered a success. Thank you, you're wonderful. That was good. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. And, uh, I'm gonna sing for you a, a song here today. It's a it's a recent addition to my repertoire. I don't see any super young people, okay, so we'll let it fly, we'll fly I guess. Protein. And th this too could be a sing along. Uh, this became a sing along inadvertently. I didn't know it was a sing along until I, I sang it the last time. And so I'll sing the sing it, and you sing the sing the word right words right back. Okay. Are you ready, people? Ready. Okay. I had a chick. I had a chick. She had a dick. She had a dick. <laughs> it was long. It was long. And it was thick. And it was thick. Sometimes. Sometimes. She let me lick. She let me lick. Man. Man. It was quite a prick. It was quite a prick. There were some. There were some. That thought it sick. That thought it sick. There were some. There were some. That said it. But they, but they just never had, just never had oh boy. a sweet slice of that she male stick. <laughs> <laughs> they say one in the hands or two in the bush, add a little lube and give a little push. <laughs> 
That girl, I say had a mighty dong. It was thick. And it was long. And it was long. She was here. She was here. But now she's gone. But she left us here to sing her song. But she left us here to sing her song. Oh Mary, back, 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 back. All dressed in black, 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 black. With silver buttons, 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 buttons. All down her back, 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 back. She went to her mother, 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 mother for 50 cents, 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 cents. To watch the elephant, elephant, elephant jump over the fence, cents, 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 cents. It jumped so high. 